Even though these new 3D Gaussian splatting models are impressive, we certainly have noticed this floating debris that annoyingly accumulates in the front of the actual model. No matter how carefully you try to photograph your subject with the camera, these floating artifacts can still appear and obscure the actual model, making it difficult to see the details. Therefore, we need to find ways to remove these unnecessary points. Hello boys and girls, it's only here again. This time we take a look how we can clean our 3D Gaussian splatting models. Since we are on words of a very new thing, there aren't that many ways or tricks to deal with Gaussian point clouds at the moment. Currently, the best and most versatile tool can be found in the plugin that is designed for the Unity game engine. This tool is a project of a talented Lithuanian coder Aras Prankevicius, who has also developed an efficient compression method to significantly reduce the size of the PLY files. Together with the German developer Hybrid Herbst, they have now also created cutout tools with which you can conveniently delimit the point cloud. This tool can be found on GitHub. I'll put the link in the description. So now let's jump into how it works and how you can modify your Gaussian models. To make this work, of course, you need to have the Unity game engine downloaded and installed on your computer. We can download this Gaussian splatting plugin, for example, as a zip file from the GitHub site and extract it to your own directories wherever you want. The project with the necessary tools is located in the asset directory. From there we can launch the Unity file. And now that we are inside the Unity game engine, we of course will need the Gaussian splatting point cloud files that we are going to edit. I assume that you already know Polycam and Luma AI services where you can generate Gaussian splatting models from your own images. These services have a feature where you can export this special splat PLY file, which we will now open in Unity. Gaussian splatting creator settings can be found under the tools menu. In here we just simply choose our PLY file, and then we have the option to change the quality how heavily the file will be compressed. I choose the very high quality, and then just press the Create Asset. After the importing bunch of these different kind of files will appear into the Gaussian asset directory. Next, we will need to activate this Gaussian splatch object from the hierarchy list, and then to the right side into this data asset field, we can drag the file that we just imported. The Gaussian splatting model is now visible in the viewport, but it probably will be oriented in the wrong direction, so we can now try to reposition it to better alignment by using the move and rotating tools. My model is a scan of an interior, and I can try to align these rooms in a straight line using the background grid and the orthographic view. When the alignment is more or less in the right place, we can start the actual editing of the points. It happens when we activate this selection tool from this pattern. It means that now we can drag a selection rectangle and select group of splats from the model. Every point that is inside the selection will be painted as a purple color, and this will very effectively show how the splats are placed inside the point cloud. But as we can see, there is a problem. When we select points with this method and in this perspective point of view, rectangle selection will take the points in the foreground, but it will mark also all the points in the background through the whole model. So it is too powerful tool while we only want to select 
and delete the points that are floating in the middle of the space. And since we don't want to make a hole in the wall, one solution would of course be to turn to the side view and try to remove from the selection all the points that touches the wall or the floor. But we quickly notice that this selection tool completely lacks a subtraction feature. We can only add more points to the selection by pressing the shift or control buttons. But we cannot take points off from the selection with the same logic as we could do in the Photoshop or another 3D program like in Blender. Of course, it may also be that Unity has some other ways to reduce things from the selection. But since I'm not very familiar with this game engine, I didn't manage to find such a feature. But since that seems to be the case, we have to look for other creative solutions to figure it out. Fortunately, in this latest version, we now have a new feature called Cutouts. Cutout can be added from this button, and it will by default add an ellipsoid sub-object in the splat model. It means that everything that is inside this round object will be displayed, and all the other parts that are outside will be cut out. So we can use these sub-objects as a cropping tool and get rid of unnecessary points this way too. Shape of this cutout object can also be changed to box cutter type, which is especially much suitable for my room model here. There is also option to make an inverted selection, where the points are then displayed in opposite way. Using this cutout function, we can now temporarily cut this room and scale this box sub-object so that we remove all the points that are on the floor and the ceiling. So now, when we move to the top view, we see that only the walls are visible to us. And from this angle, we can draw a selection rectangle and select all the points that are inside the walls in the empty space. We can safely remove all these points by pressing the delete key on the keyboard. Just see how many chunk points we can find in this empty space. I have to be careful not to accidentally remove the lamp hanging in the middle of the roof. By selecting areas against an empty background, we can now safely remove points without accidentally removing pieces from the floor or ceiling. Because we know that the points that belong to the ceiling or floor are safe behind the clipping area, we can now easily fly inside the walls, search and remove floating points against an empty background. Deleting process can be quite satisfying when you find hidden artifacts and can clean them away. In this way, you also start to understand how these Gaussian splatting points are distributed and how their 3D structure is made. This cleaning method will also reveal that Gaussian models are not that accurate. For example, these wall surfaces are not that straight when you take a closer look. And the layer of the splats can be quite thick, and you cannot delete all the points near the surfaces that seems to be flat to you. It can lose some important quality of the model if you are too eager to remove all the points and want to make straight lines. So you need to be careful. You need to be careful also because there is no undo feature when you are inside this selection mode. If you try to press the undo, it will only remember the major movement sections that you made earlier for the cutout object. That's why you need to be extra careful when you are cleaning these splats out. When you are finished, you can now scale this box cropping object back so that it will reveal the ceiling and the floor. And now we have successfully cleaned the room from the floating artifacts.
Probably the best and most important feature in this plugin is that you can export the edited model back to the PLY format and save all the modifications that you have made. In this way, the point cloud will not only remain as an asset of the Unity game engine, but it can also be used in other programs, such as Unreal Engine. Okay, I hope that this short tutorial showed you the options, how you can remove and clean floating artifacts from your Gaussian splatting models. Even if you wouldn't be a big fan of the Unity game engine, I recommend you to try it, because it is the only tool at the moment that has such a versatile options to clean points out of Gaussian models. So, if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I will continue to research these 3D models and dive deeper into the splats. Until the next time, thanks for watching.